It is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. Hallelujah! Good morning, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to another beautiful, blessed day. Today is August the 5th, and our message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, is entitled, He Substituted His Righteousness for Your Sin Nature. Hallelujah! That's a very powerful topic. Our opening scripture is from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, and I read, For he had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Hallelujah! The idea of the new creation having a sin nature is mostly common amongst Christians who look at it from the standpoint of I was once a sinner, but now I'm saved. But the new creation isn't the man that was in sin and in the darkness. That man actually died with Christ. The old nature of sin was crucified with Christ and supplanted by God's nature of righteousness. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. That was from the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 6. When Jesus arose from the dead, you arose with him with a new life. Hallelujah! A new nature. The life in you isn't a continuation of the old life or a combination of the old and the new. It is a new life altogether. A new life of righteousness. Blessed be God. Romans chapter 6 verse 4 says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. No wonder the Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 10, Put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Hallelujah. You were born righteous in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He substituted his righteousness for your sin nature. His substitutionary work took care of the sin problem and brought forth a new creation, a new species, recreated in righteousness and true holiness. Glory to God. Wow. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. I am born of God and have His nature of righteousness in my spirit. As Jesus is in His glory and righteousness, so am I. There is no old nature within me, for I have been born into a newness of life. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, called into the fellowship of the God kind. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, there's one scripture to study for today, so I highly recommend that you do so from the book of Romans chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. Take your time, read it, understand it, and meditate on it and receive further revelation on today's topic. Hallelujah! Tune in again tomorrow as I share with you another great message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Till then, remember, you are blessed. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. 
Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.